In this shortcut tutorial I will show you some basic ways to colour grade a video clip. I've assumed you have a basic understanding of editing in shortcut. A link to my beginners tutorial is included in the description below for those that don't. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. Okay, this is a video I've used uh, previously um, on other tutorials on color grading and I thought I'd have a go at doing some basic color grading in Shotcut. It's not the most advanced um, option if you really want to go into fine details, Shotcut's probably not for you, but you can get some pretty good results. Um, so with this track in the timeline you can come up here and go into color and this will give you some information on your colors um, unfortunately you can't do any adjustments here which would be nice as you can do in uh, photo editors but anyway this is telling me that I've probably got too much blue but it's only telling me what I can see so really it's not that much use um, most compositing, uh, sorry, color grading is done by eye, by eye really, you know, if you look at the differences between even um, Hollywood films, the, the vast difference, you know, you've got some of the Warner Brothers films that look almost black and white, um, and then maybe, you know, a Star, Star Wars film, the colors are, in my mind, a lot more accurate, but anyway, I digress. So what I would do, and I'm, I'm going to do this quite quickly because you can sort of spend forever looking at color grading. What I would do in the filters section, I'd press plus and add a brightness, plus again color grading, plus again contrast and white balance you could add saturation as well but i'm going to try and keep this quite simple so i'm going to just drag the white balance above anything else so it's at the top just to make things a bit easier and i'll probably bring this contrast up as well so i've got white balance brightness contrast and color grading at the bottom so with the white balance selected, what I would do if I was going to start um, trying to uh, color grade and shortcut is I would select the little sort of color picker and take it over to an area I think might work. So you would automatically think that where it says white balance, if you select the white it will give you the best option but it's not always the case so go around your video and pick some other areas so let's have a look let's pick I don't know let's pick this color here that's not looking too bad but it's a bit green so I'll just pick something else let's go down to this sort of gray area here in fact that's not looking too bad the reds and greens are a bit high so like i said just go around and try and find an area which gives you a reasonable balance of color now we'll go back to i think we'll get, stick with this color here but the one problem that you might find is that if you if your color changes and this is the color balance is nearly always to do with you'll always get this problem in bad lighting conditions if it changes as the video get, progresses unfortunately you can't keyframe uh, the white balance in um, shortcut so you need to really find an area say in the middle and have a look at it and, and I can see now this is not quite right so I'm going to just reselect this and yeah I'll go with that it's not perfect in fact the blues if you look at the histogram the blues lower than the other colors but we still got this blue hue up here so 
I would always look at the video and not take too much notice of these things. Um, what else can we do? Okay, let's have a look. If we select the brightness, I can start lifting it a bit. And I think that's probably looking a lot better. And contrast, I can sharpen it up a bit. So, yeah, a little bit washed out, but we'll go with this one. And now the color grading. I don't like these wheels. I find them difficult on any editor to work with. I prefer curves. Um, but that's not to say you can't work with them. You can change the colors here by rolling your middle mouse. So, you know, that is subjective. You won't have this video. Or maybe start with the shadows and just drag this to a place where you get a better color. It really depends what you're looking for. That's not looking too bad. You've got a reset here. So let's do that again. Just go careful. And the mid-tones, maybe. That's looking a bit better. Highlights. That can be a bit more difficult. Yep, that's as good as I probably could get with this video. Um, and that's it, really. Now, you, you can keyframe these, unlike the white balance. So I could, if I wanted to, spend a lot of time at the beginning and at the end. But the problem with um, Shotcut, if you've got some video editors, you can see, you can actually import uh, an image of, say, what it looked like at the beginning, and then go to the end and match your video to the image by using keyframes that's not so easy to do in shortcut so I shan't go through that but I think that is good enough for a basic um, sort of colorization tutorial let's have a look what can we do so if we look at this one here and then compare it with this one as you can see it's pretty good improvement so hopefully that's helped someone thank you for watching cheers